Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to start Chapter 12 now in Calculus 3. Uh, this is the fall semester of 2022. Chapter 12 is on uh, vector-valued functions, at least 12.1. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with that. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, parameterizing. So recall, let's just jump right into it. Recall from Calc 2, if we parameterize x and y as functions of time, like x equals f of t and y equals g of t, we can generate this parametric curve in two space. That's it's traced in a specific orientation or direction. Uh, we generally use it t for time as time progresses. Uh, well, in Calc 3, we are going to upsize it. Now we're going in three space. And Z is going to, we'll use H of T for that. Uh, so let's just take a look at an example. I've got X equals cosine T, Y equals sine of T, and Z equals T. These are going to be our functions. <clears throat> if I make a quick table of values for it, uh, for, let's just, since we're using cosine and sine, let's use the, uh, the friendly trig values, all the multiples of pi over 2. Uh, going through the circle, we've got such. And if we sketch it, we are starting at the bottom. And this is R of zero. Let me bring that up on the screen a little bit better. This is R of zero right there. Here we've got R of pi over two. Here we've got R of pi. It's going back along the x-axis, negative one. It's a little hard to sketch that, but we could see this is thing. This is just going up in a circle, like a little spiral around the z-axis. So it's called a circular helix. It's increasingly upward, and it's got a radius of one because we don't have any multiples on cosine or sine at this point. Okay. Let's take a look at the next part of it. Uh, we So what I was saying is each point on that curve is a terminal point of the vector, and I was showing that here. We start at the origin, and the vector radiates from, out from the origin to the terminal point, and that, this kind of traces the path of the helix, okay? Uh, so we have our function, r is a function of time, f of t, g of t, and h of t for the X, Y, and Z components. Since this function produces a vector, it is called a vector valued function. Uh, and so the tip, as, again, we talked about this last chapter, the tip of the vector traces out the curve that we're looking at. We didn't do it in the videos, but we did it in the Zoom classes. And that's it for this part. I'll do examples in the next one. Peace.